So there is a simple game flow in Escape from Area 51. Um, and that's outlined on the launch page itself. There are the four steps. Uh, the first one being just uh, exiting the lobby through, uh, through a door. Um, and then you exit out of this building, which you see uh, indicated by this uh, uh, blinking white star below. Um, from there, you have to make your way to one of the three corner buildings and get your, or get a piece of kryptonite. Um, and then finally, go towards the center where you find uh, the four evacuation towers. Uh, get on top of one of those, and then get a helicopter to safety. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so here's the thing. I want to keep track of uh, the players, and just to make sure that they are actually um, reaching the points that, that I built into the game uh, to see how far they're getting, and get an idea if if the game is playable or if there are problems, um, and keep track of uh, errors, exceptions, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and Roblox offers, or are they, they suggest using Google Analytics. Um, and I have built this into the game. Um, and with that, I can kind of have an idea. Uh, I have a report that's generated that shows me um, what people are actually doing, how far they've gotten, and um, I think it's been pretty useful so far. So uh, let me just briefly go through what I've done, um, and then I'll have an example project that I will upload that you can download and look at uh, and play with yourself. Okay, as you're setting up your Google Analytics account, um, you are, uh, it's gonna be basically uh, a couple steps here where you have your basic account set up, that's part one. Step two, you're gonna go into create property. Something very important not to overlook is a little checkbox, it shows show advanced properties. Uh, they're hiding something called create a universal analytics property. We want to definitely check on this thing. Uh, uh, and, uh, and there's some kind of a name here. Um, when you've done this, then you're going to create uh, a universal analytics property. It starts with UA, um, as outlined in the, the Roblox uh, website. I don't know if it can handle the new uh, type of uh, analytics property. So um, just to make sure you don't overlook this thing. Okay, so now we're in the coding phase. Um, here is a small test project. And looking at the workspace from top to bottom, here is the spawn location here. And then I have three parts here, A, B, and C. And I wanna keep track of um, when the person spawns here, uh, uh, if he touched all three parts, two parts, or whatever, I just wanna, um, have that in Google Analytics um, as an overview uh, the, uh, as events. So here are all the elements that went into the project. It's also very small. This is the uh, um, three line server code that uh, you see right on the Roblox Google Analytics page. And it's just three lines here. Um, most importantly is you have your tracking ID here at the third line and that's it. You're going to require this um, Google Analytics module here. Uh, and then up above here, we have these three parts, yellow, pink, and green. Each part has a server script attached to it. And uh, when they are touched by anything, then um, it's gonna get registered here. And I'm gonna see if it's a player. Um, and then I'm gonna do something else. I have a array here called player list. And if they're touching this thing for the first time, then I will add them into the array. I will send this off to Google Analytics. The next time that they come, this player list should already have them here. It will be, it'll be seen here as uh, true, and then it will not get into this method. So it only be, only happen once. Uh, four things uh, that go into the Google, Google Analytics is the category, action, label, and value. Uh, this is the category here is um, you have your basically the, the game ID, which is generated by the, the game itself. Uh, and then the action uh, action um, tag here. Um, there are uh, different types like um, uh, visit, for example, when you first come into the game, 
and then the user definition defined one here is category action. I have them all as category action, keep them all under one roof. Um, the only thing that's different for me is the label where I differentiate between reaching part A, B, or C. This fourth one here, if you want to get more granular, you could maybe uh, put how many times or, or have a counter, how many times this person actually touched this part. But I don't really do this. I just It's just the first time that really matters to me. And that's pretty much it. Um, I could even put a breakpoint here. Could start up this project. And um, we'll run over to the yellow part. So let's just go over here, walk over to the yellow part. And then as you can see, we're into the, in the debugger. We hit this line of code here. Um, and um, uh, this player list here, this is the array that I talked about. It's empty right now. As soon as I go into this, enter them into the array. And as you can see, now voila, we have a element here, which is the player ID, which is me, and the value true. That means the next time I'm going to hit this yellow part, uh, it will not send off an event, only the first time. So it's basically um, uh, of 100 people that come into the game, what percentage of these 100 people actually reach the yellow part, or the green part, or the pink part. And uh, for me right now, this is kind of an interesting statistic. Uh, and that's about pretty much it. I'm going to put a link to this uh, little project um, down below under the description. Feel free to download it and do whatever you want with it. Okay, last but not least, let's look at the uh, data on the Google Analytics page. We have these page title, search term, event category, event category. This is what we want here. Uh, as if you remember, we had this place ID with the um, uh, game ID. That's this guy here. We're going to click in this guy here. Um, and it is sorted by total events. Uh, we have errors here all over the place here, unfortunately. Uh, this visit, uh, this is 1,000 visits. And then the category action, this is what we want to look at. Um, so I have, for my game, defined unique um, events, which is... Um, uh, leaving the lobby and uh, reaching one of these two these destinations, actually there's four of them. That's the helicopter uh, pads. And then we have these corner houses, which are you see down here. Much less people get to the corner houses. Uh, the majority of them go to the center to where the helicopter pads are. So this helps me better understand um, the player behavior in the game. And so far, it's been pretty helpful. I have to say, I think Google Analytics is a, is a bit complicated, uh, overly complicated uh, for what, what I really need. But it's the first thing I tried out, and I'm using it, and um, it's been okay so far.